Yes, it's, it's freaking serious. It, the road closures right now mm -hmm. on both ends. So they're not but, letting anybody buy. But we don't know. They're saying that they have roadblocks like every, could be every kilometer. Maybe. So they're really trying to lock down. Maybe. Currently, I'm stuck in Ecuador and things are getting serious here. To this day, I still don't know the full situation, but at the same time, I'm not worried because I'm at an off-grid community where I can grow all my food, medicine, and even build a cabin. And by the way, this is my cabin that I'm currently staying in. With everything going on, I'm quite thankful to be where I'm at right now. For years, I've always wanted to be detached from society and the world and live like a natural human being in nature, growing 100% of my own food and building my own home making my own medicine and simply not being harmed by the chemicals being put in the food, air, and in the homes. Not many people know, but a lot of these chemicals contribute to birth defects, cancer, and many other illnesses. Me as a health coach, the reason I believe so much in being alkaline is because it's the best diet to combat everything collectively. So if you want to do the best you can with your health while living in the city, there's a link below to book a 30 minute consultation with me on how you can go alkaline, lose that weight, and get fit in a short amount of time. Since being in Ecuador, I've got the chance to step away from society and the matrix as a whole and embrace a natural way of living. Financially, everything is very cheap and I don't have to make that much to live a good life. Not only that, but food grows abundantly here and the views are amazing every single day the fruits that grow wild here are papaya bananas jackfruit mammy sapote oranges but truthfully i think everything grows here wild <laughs> these are just the fruits that i've seen grow wild the reason why i'm covered up like this is because there's a whole lot of mosquitoes and stuff around biting and loving this melanin but anyways we just finished up this e and i could not have done this without my guy alex thank you alex for helping me it's real janky i'm not gonna lie it's real real janky but we made it work and um now we're just gonna fill it up with the very top of the soil that we've been making from like all of our old food scraps and then after that we're gonna put the middle soil is gonna be heavy clay which is the native soil here mixed in with some of the new soil that we got as well as a mix of the heavy clay and then on top of that is gonna be some of the finished compost that we made from all our old food scraps plus some of the sandish um soil that we just got a shipment of which is like 150 dollars for this huge truckload so we're gonna fill up this entire e and that'll be it All right, so now the bed is done. And like I said, there's gonna be two E's over here. And what we've done, so that way we minimize all the mud coming from here to over here is by putting some gravel right here, some just some rocks, and then some rocks as a barrier all along the side. Um, and we're gonna finish it going all the way around it so that way, you know, we minimize as much wood as we can coming outside of this area into like where everybody's walking barefoot. getting the guys to work out. What he's doing right now is working on his, not biceps, but triceps, okay? And the way that you do this is by sucking in these glutes, which he's messing up on, okay? Oh, the video again, do these, no, 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 this is all good. Sucking that gut, that gut, then up, just like that. This is how you can activate those triceps. If you ain't got nothing, and you just got like a little pole of any length, do these. So I want to show you guys something. This right here is actually what the indigenous people here use for toilet paper. And it's very, very soft and flimsy. You can, it's very, very soft to the touch, so it's not going to irritate your butt. But I've noticed the bigger the leaves get, the more like plasticky they get as well. But when you get them like this, they feel just like toilet paper, if not better. So that there is nature's toilet paper, literally. And now into the jungle we go, where my cabin will be. 
So I, I just had a friend come and weed whack for me. So it looks really sketchy, but at the same time, there's a lot of space down here. So I can kind of just like catch myself if I needed to. Oh, the view is gonna be amazing. Just wait till we get closer up there, go down. So this will be where my cabin will be. Deep in the Amazon rainforest. And as you can see here, there's a tree that fell, which was done intentionally because there's another person building on the other side. So um, we're gonna cut this today with a chainsaw once we go in town and come back, or we'll do it tomorrow. But down there is where I'm gonna be building my cabin. So as you, as you can see, there's a bunch of wood already down there. And I'm gonna use a lot of that for the cabin as well as for the gardening bed. And if you look closely, there's water down there, there's a stream. And a little over here to the left will be where, you know, I can take a bath and stuff like that and, you know, meditate, all of that. There's beautiful flowers over here. You can see a red one right here. And um, what I'm gonna do, you know, since there's like a lot of space and sunlight can come through, I'm gonna plant some fruit trees down there as well so that way I can grow some food and maybe cut a few more trees just for some like extra space. But um, yeah, pretty much this, this is gonna be the spot, y'all. This is gonna be the spot. And there's a pathway that goes from here all the way around and it comes right down to this tree right here and that's the very bottom and yeah so apparently this is fruit called chanta i've never had it before and the people here at the community are going to have me harvest it for the first time or they're going to harvest it and um, we'll both enjoy it at the same time. All right, so donde is uh, cha chanta? <laughs> donde <laughs> is chanta? <laughs> so these are the ready things. Yeah, those are oh, so so it's these palm tree things, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Little. It's called yeah, peach yeah, palm in the United States. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, bro, I just found this spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah brother. <laughs> He's so hyped. I love it. Yeah. Is it like a smaller, a smaller one? No, they're like, okay, you see the red ones? Uh, yeah. Literally the next uh, bark, which is very light, grayish uh -huh. and white. Yeah. You do go down the very next tree, just a bit on the left. Five. Oh shit, these fucking mozies. Oh, yeah? What? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. So that's it right there? Yeah. Wait, it might fall oh, on your head. This way? Oh shit. It might fall on your head, so be, be aware. Yeah. But have you ever I'm seen. I'm gonna come back up this way. Because yeah. you gotta hook it around. And you're so tall, so it's just perfect. Oh, just a bit higher. Oh, I'll get the lower one first. Right. Oh, wait. No, you don't have it. Oh, easy. Oh, jeez. Wow. Easy, bro. Easy. There goes some. Hold on. I can't try it. Oh, no. Yeah. There it goes. Oh, 